Hey guys, welcome to Compose with Richard Schreiber. I wanted to ask you another question, as I tend to do, because I think it's good to question your activities and good to question how you're approaching things. And in this instance, I wanted to ask you this. Uh, do you have that problem where like, you're about a minute into your trailer queue and you suddenly realize that you can't really think of any ways to get any louder or any bigger? or that you just don't know how to do that final third, that final big third act. It just feels like everything's already there and you can't think of anything else to add. Now I have a resolution for that problem. But let's have a think about this. Here's my trusty violin. If you think about a trailer, right, it's not just a case of having a huge impactful final third. It's also a case of creating something really important, and that is a sense of space. And you need to have space, especially in the first sort of 30 seconds to a minute of your cue, to give your cue room to breathe. Because if you don't include that space, then you're not gonna let yourself have the opportunity to expand. Now remember with dynamics, Louder things seem louder when compared directly to quieter things. So if you leave space in your cue, then you're going to give space for your dynamics. Because then you have a chance to take your cue forward because you've started with space. You can keep it moving keep it driving. It's just a really simple idea. And this is probably really distracting for you. But the point of the fact is, if you start with space, almost start slowly, then you have room to grow. And build that tension. you see the point? With a single violin, I exemplified what I'm talking about. You start with space, then you bring in more notes. You increase the frequency, and I don't mean pitch frequency, I mean frequency as in the occurrences that happen over a set time period. You increase the frequency, you increase the rhythms, you increase the layers, you increase as you get on. That way, you are naturally creating room for your third act to breathe and explode and grow. And if you were going to do a stop down, use it to create a dynamic explosion. Don't use it just because, just because you've been told to. Right, now go away to one of your cues where you're having this problem, where you can't think of a way to explode that final ending. Move everything along 30 seconds and create 30 seconds of beautiful atmospheric space. It will change your writing.